Well, we're about 10 league games into our Premier League season with West Brom, and it has been a bit of a mixed bag of results. So following on from our 3-0 opening day defeat against Watford, what do you think happened next? We went and beat Manchester City 4-2. Miguel Ramirez with a brace, Malungu with a brace as well, and uh, we were absolutely superb in today's game. We then went away from home against Newcastle United and drew 1-1. Thelani Malangu had put us in front eight minutes in, but Nuno Cunha equalised for them in the 69th minute. We then got beat at home against Norwich City, a hugely disappointing result, especially in a game where we did dominate Malangu and uh, Sid with the goals in this one, but uh, Norwich City were just far more clinical than we were. We then went away from home against Fulham and won 4-1. An own goal, Bonman, Malangu and Sid. We played a fully rotated side at home against Oldham in the League Cup third round and won 3 0. Moreira, Ramirez, and Astley in this one. And we were down from t to 10 men from the 13th minute. Not that that gives us any sort of credit. We then at home against Arsenal won 1 0. Arnold Gonzalez put us in front 11 minutes in. They went down to 10 men on the 76th minute. And that's how things finished. Again, a hugely disappointing home defeat this time against Southampton. Jamie Coyle, our former man from Nottingham Forest. Yes, Nottingham Forest it was. Uh, getting the only goal of the game in the 71st minute to enable another defeat against a side we should be beaten at home. We did bounce back though with a 3-1 away win against Bristol City. Sinan Sayan, Malungu and Marrero with the goals. We then also beat our former side Huddersfield away from home. Gonzalez with the only goal of the game in the 11th minute. So... That's how many games we've played, that's how they've all figured, and we currently sit in 7th place on 17 points. 5 wins, 2 draws, and 3 defeats is not too bad. It's just them 2 defeats against Norwich and Southampton, and no, it's going to come back to haunt us one way or another. 2 home games where you would expect us to get results, and we just didn't. So that takes us to today, where we will be playing at Birmingham City in the League Cup 4th round, and we'll also be playing Nottingham Forest at home, who currently sit in 11th. So as the season has been progressing, we have been tinkering with the tactic and changing the formation. I think this is something that we're going to settle with. It's pretty attacking despite its defensive nature. Um, the three centre-backs, the three in the defensive midfield roles with the two attacking wing-backs and the deep-lying playmaker, which I love to play. The two attacking medzalas, uh, two supportive strikers rather than out-and-out -out goal scorers. And we'll wait and see how that goes. Vincent Picard has been terrible so far this season. He hasn't scored for us yet in the Premier League in nine games. 45 million quid. Well, well spent. But yeah, this will be the line for today. Man on in goal. Bruno says our Davidson. It won't be Davidson. It will be Lepic. Uh, Eo David completing the three centre-halves. Music, Cyan and Schlupp as our defensive midfield. And wing-back Sid and Gonzalez in the centre of midfield with Malungu and Picard starting up top. Now, Pickard doesn't deserve to start. He really doesn't. If he didn't cost me 45 million, I would have dropped him by now. I'm just hoping I can get him playing eventually. But we are at home against Burnham City today. Um, pretty even, I would say, in terms of current ability of the squad. So I would give us the edge going into today's game. But I wouldn't be surprised if we got beat. First highlight of the game, it's Sid coming down this right-hand side for us. His ball is whipped in, cleared by Burnham to Gonzalez. Malongu back to Gonzalez, all the way back to Cyan. We do spread the play this time to the left-hand side for Schlo. Pickard's there from post and heads just over. Well, this first half has been dull as dishwater. And neither side really taking control, but we do have a highlight just before half-time. It was our attack and throwing, which has been cleared by Birmingham City. And it looks like they're going to come away on the counter-attack with Stewart on this right-hand side. The ball's fed to Diaz. He keeps it in well. But we've got men back in position now. So hopefully we can defend this confidently. Rodriguez whips it in. Lepic gets it clear only as far as Brunier who switches the player to Diaz on this right-hand side. Into the box, Rodriguez. Shot is blocked. Leonardo's shot is blocked. And Pickard can come away with it now. Down this left-hand side, Birmingham have a lot of men pushing forward. And um, we cannot take advantage of it. We go all the way back to the defence, Sid. To music on this right-hand side. It's whipped in. Pickard to Malungu. Malungu, <laughs> Sid. Uh, we should be 1-0 up there. And there we have it. Half-time, West Brom nil, Birmingham City nil. Uh, I'm not happy with the performance so far. I'm not. We're not playing very well in the attacking sense, so we'll see how we go in this second half. We do have a highlight straight from kickoff. We'll wait and see how this goes. Cyan brings the ball forward from defensive midfield, spreads the play to the left hand side for Schlup. Gonzalez is in the box, and that finish is as easy as you like. Arnold Gonzalez puts us 1 0 up 45 minutes in. That's his third goal of the season from central midfield. He's Pretty good, Arnold Gonzalez. I'm liking him so far. Schlupp is doing excellently on that left-hand side as well. And um, 
hopefully we can keep our dominance here. We're not really keeping possession. And that I'm not bothered, to be honest, as long as we are creating the better chances and the better opportunities. And we have ourselves another one here. Schlupp's in the box, straight down the keeper's neck. Another highlight now. Schlupp plays it in. Malungu is there for his... He's been superb. The guy we signed to be our backup is our best striker. <laughs> Thelani Malungu's ninth goal of the season puts us 2-0 up 55 minutes in. Schlupp again getting involved in the attack and play. We are going to take him off, actually. He was um, struggling before the game even started, so... 55 minutes is more than enough. 2 0 up. Happy days. Free kick for us. Marrera plays it into the back post. Ayo David is there for his second goal of the season. And we are starting to look Birmingham look a little bit silly in this second half. West Brom 3, Birmingham City 0. Marrera, our left wing back, again involved with the assists. And uh, 25 minutes to go. This has been a hell of a derby. Can Birmingham get themselves back into this? Down the right hand side, the, sh the cross is blocked. And hopefully now we are going to counter. Music cuts inside from the right hand side. Malungu picks it up. He goes for goal and goes just over. We look to make our final couple of subs within the final of few minutes or so. We'll bring on Bonman and Petter Davlechen in the central midfield and defensive midfield spots, respectively. And we should be safely through to the next round of the League Cup. Nice to beat one of our former sides, especially one who is a domestic rival. And, uh, yeah. We'll take that. Nottingham Forest coming up next. So here we are for the Forest game. A much more important game than the last game against Birmingham. We need to keep a winning run in the Premier League. We need to start racking up them points to set us up nicely for the second half of the season. So a pretty much unchanged lineup. In fact, an exactly unchanged lineup. We have made some changes on the bench. But um, it looks like we're mirroring Nottingham Forest's formation pretty closely. Any names we recognise. Karimi we recognise. Fukushima we recognise. Shane Pierce. Is still there. Shane P is still there. That is crazy. What a great signing he was for them before we'd even came. Uh, Karimi's playing at centre half now, which, I mean, he can certainly do it, but I think I still prefer him in defensive midfield. And Fukushima, yeah, he's still a top quality centre half. Let's get into the game and see how we get on. So the opening 25 minutes have shown no highlights, but going by the match stats, it looks like we are dominating things. So we can be relatively content with that, but we, of course, we want to see some action. And we want to get a goal, especially at home before half time, if we can. I mean, greatest first half ever on Football Manager. I'm telling the boys, I am far from pleased from what I saw from this team. Hopefully, that gives them the kick up the arse they need. I think this might just be a case of five back formations clashing and uh, <laughs> neither side being able to break the other one down. We're going to go down to a positive team mentality from attacking, which might seem like a strange change, but I've noticed over the last 15, 20 minutes, Nottingham Forest have been holding a lot more possession than we have. And uh, maybe that's having some sort of effect. Probably not. Uh, we'll make a couple of subs though. We'll bring on uh, our left wing back and a replacement for Cyan at defensive midfield, Dav Lechen. Just to freshen things up in the final 10 minutes. We're going back attacking. We're going to uh, go a little bit more direct. And if nothing comes from this, five minutes, four minutes, a, a highlightless game. A, re a highlightless game, football manager. Are you absolutely kidding me? There we are. Look at the match stats. A highlightless game. There was no highlights. Well, this is this is just the greatest video I've ever made. Have I ever had a highlightless game on Football Manager 20? I don't think I've had. I think I've always had at least one <laughs> at least one highlight. Well, there we are then. That's the end of today's episode. We get an NL draw against Nottingham Forest. We'll come back. Spurs leads. Anybody? Just before the January transfer window, of course. Looking forward to that. We still have the 46 million quid. And with the change in formation, we are interested in looking for another centre-half. And improvements all around. So, uh, we'll look forward to that. But anyway, boys, <laughs> it's going to be... Picard still hasn't scored. He's fucking useless. 45 million quid. Whose idea was that? Anyway, boys, I hope you have enjoyed today's video somehow. And if you have, please consider leaving a like. <laughs> Get yourself subscribed to the channel. <laughs> Until next time, take it easy.